Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I will demo how to secure Mule API with Java Web Token Validation Policy. I will use Azure Active Directory as Identity Access Management System and it will act as a JWT token provider. Here is an example of Java Web Token. It has three parts, header, payload, and signature. Header contains the signing key detail, algorithm, key ID, etc. In the payload, we have claim. It is in a JSON format. And we sign the header and the payload using signing key. And we put that signature in the third part of Java Web Token. Java Web Token claim can be trusted because claims are digitally signed. This diagram explains how Java Web Token validation policy works in API Manager. Client need to get a JWT token and it need to pass the token as authorization header in request, API request. Mule API Gateway intercepts the request. It gets the public key from Azure Active Directory. Using public key, it regenerates the signature of the header and the claim that exists inside the JWT token. It validates the structure of the JWT token and it compares the computed generated signature with the signature that exists in JWT token. If the structure and the signature are valid, then pass the claim to the downstream API. An API response is returned to the client. If the token is not valid, then invalid token error is returned to the client. I will start demo now. I will go to the AnyPoint platform. I have logged into the AnyPoint platform. I will go to API Manager. This is the API that I registered in API Manager. It is paired with the implementation Mule application using auto discovery. I will preview the API in Exchange. It has slash order get method. Slash order endpoint returns list of orders. I will go to the postman. I will invoke the API from postman as well. So here we are getting the list of orders. clear the token let me click the send button so we are getting the result without sending any authorization header because this api is not secured at this point now i will go to the api manager i will go to the API policies and here I will add a policy. I will add JWT validation policy but before I will add this policy I will go to the Azure Active Directory and I will register an application over there. So I have already logged into the Azure portal using my username password. I will go to the Azure Active Directory. Here I will go to the app registration. I will click new registration and I will give the name OMS portal. I will keep these fields default. 
register so our application has been registered now i will go to the expose an api application id uri i will click set and i will click the save so this is our application id uri i will use this in configuring the jwt policy in api manager now i will click the certificate and secrets i will click add new client secret i will give the name oms client secret click add so we got the client secret so we have client id we have application id uri and here we created the client credentials client secret i will use these values in configuring the java web token validation policy so i'll go to the api manager java web token validation policy is selected click next i will keep this option as it is http where authentication header signing method rsa signing key 256 and for jwt key origin i will give the uri so i will select jwks here i will give the jwks uri for that i will go to the azure portal i will click endpoints for jwks uri i will copy the open id connect metadata document i will go to the browser new tab and i will get the information from here i will copy this detail in notepad i will copy in the new file so this is the jwks uri i will copy this and i will paste here i will keep this value default i will skip the client validation i will check the validate audience claim and here i will copy the uri so for that i will go to the azure portal and i will copy the application id uri and i will paste it here i will click apply so java web token validation policy has been created now our api is secure now if i will go to the postman and if i will invoke the api again slash api slash order endpoint i will get the error i got the error jwt token is required so we need to pass the token here bearer token here in authorization header so we need to retrieve the token from azure web token directory for that i have created the request already this is the token url let me copy it again i will go to the endpoint and from here i will copy the token endpoint listed here i don't have to 
pass any parameter in the header i am passing content type application x www form url encoded in the body i need to pass a scope so for a scope i need to copy the application id uri pasted here and i have to say slash dot default grant type is client credential because i am using client credential grant type here i need to copy client id and client secret so i will go to the portal again this is the client id i'll copy the client id now i will copy the client secret from here i will copy the value of client secret and paste it here so i'm sending a scope grant type client id and client secret in the body i'm invoking the token url with the post method click send we got the jwt access token i will copy this i will go to the another tab and here i will pass this jwt token as a bearer token i will copy here now i will invoke the endpoint again we got the result if i will change anything it won't work invalid token error if i will copy again it's working so let me recap initially our api was not secured there was no jwt policy was created so to secure the api i configure the jwt validation policy i use the azure active directory i registered a application there and then i expose an api and created the client secret i use those values from azure active directory and i configured the policy here and in postman first i retrieve the token by passing scope grant type client id and client secret we got the access token jwt access token and i pass that token as a bearer token in authorization header and we invoke the api we got the result so this is how we can secure our mule application by configuring java wave token validation policy in api manager and using azure active directory as a identity access management system and jwt token provider i hope you understood how to secure api using jwt validation policy and azure active directory if you like this video click the like button and subscribe channel thanks for watching thank you very much